Hey everybody, welcome back to the Ref's Crease podcast. Uh, as always, the Ref Crease is brought to, brought to you by refcoach.ca. Um, be sure to check us out at www.refcoach.ca for all your resources you need to be the best official you can be. Um, another season's on the horizon, and that means another Ref Clinic's on the horizon as well. Um, so today I wanted to talk about what you could do to prepare and thrive uh, in your guys' upcoming clinics. I'm I'm only here in Canada, so I'm not sure how the certification process works in other countries. Um, so if you're listening somewhere outside of Canada, um, I am curious how the procedure works for you guys um, in the U.S. or Europe or wherever you happen to be listening to this. So uh, drop me a message and, and let's talk about it. Um, I'd like to discuss. Um, for now, though, I'm just going to touch on uh, Hockey Canada clinics and uh, what you guys can do to be successful in your clinics. Um, the first thing I would say, go in with a positive mental attitude. This is super important. Uh, even if you've attended these clinics multiple times, um, there's always something you can learn and uh, there's something that you didn't know that you're going to know now. Um, moving forward. So um, these instructors, they are at your disposal and they are a wealth of knowledge um, and also experience. So pick their brains, you know, and, and get the most information you can from them. And, uh, you know, hit them with some game situations you've been involved in in the past and uh, see, you know, how they would have navigated those things. And, and that's always a good way to, uh, to learn and to grow. So um, you know, go in with the right mental attitude and, uh, and be in there to learn. I mean, you're going to be there anyways. So, um, the next thing I would say is get a good rest the night before, um, prepare for a long day. Uh, these clinics generally go a full day. Um, I know from, for us out here, um, in rural Alberta, they only have the one clinic uh, and they kind of wrap everybody into it. So whether you're a multi-year official or a first-time official, you're all going through the same course, and that tends to be, you know, eight hours at least. So um, be ready for that, and make sure you've had plenty of rest the night before so you're awake and, uh, and you're alert uh, for the early start that uh, these clinics usually have. Um, the next thing I would say, uh, bring healthy snacks. Most of the clinics I've been to, they usually have snacks for you, um, but I would never count on that. You never know what's going to happen. So make sure you pack some snacks and make sure they're healthy snacks. Um, usually the other thing is when they provide snacks for you, they're not the healthiest. I mean, there there's a lot of uh, granola bars and, you know, those kind of things, muffins from Costco and like that kind of stuff. Lots of sugar. Um and you know the more sugar you consume throughout the day the bigger the crash is going to be um as your insulin spikes and then drops so um you know that's going to not help you with the, your alertness level and uh, and things of that nature so i would uh, aim for like you know high protein um this gives you lots of energy um, it also keeps you satiated so that you're not, you know, scrambling and super hungry, um, and then reaching for those super sugary snacks. Uh, and, and the one thing I would say, whatever you do, don't be drinking energy drinks throughout the day to try and keep going. Uh, these come with a 10 times worse crash than just sugar. I mean, now you're getting like a nasty caffeine hit and a bunch of chemicals and a bunch of other stuff that's uh, going to spike this insulin levels like crazy and then you're going to crash like crazy. So um, try to avoid those things and, and aim for healthy snacks. Remember to bring gear to skate. Um, generally, most of these clinics, they have an on-ice session and um, you're going to need your helmet, you're going to need your whistle, and you're going to need your skates. Um, so don't forget those items pack them whether you you know you're going on the ice or you don't and then you're just ready if you do um the last thing you want is to be 
um, in a situation where you know everybody's ready to go on the ice and you got to be left behind and, and uh, try to try to figure out something for the hour or whatever they spend uh, going out there on the ice so um, bring that stuff and uh, just be ready for that and the last thing I want to add is practice respect while you're there um, these instructors they give their time uh, for the entire day to you know show you guys uh, everything that the course has to offer and they're also imparting their knowledge and their experience on you and they have the right to do that without interruption um, so you know grant them you know that courtesy uh, also your fellow classmates have the right to hear them and learn from them um, just like you so um, you know let's be respectful don't be talking while they're talking don't you know be acting out and you know doing crazy stuff you get lots of breaks so you know you, you've got time to, to let all that energy out when you go out and do those things but uh, when you're there and you're in that learning environment let's be there to learn and uh, and be respectful um, also remember what you're what you're doing there you're taking your part in a long tradition and you're an integral part of this great game that uh, that we're all involved in so take some pride in that and um, you know uh, be be proud of what you're doing there and uh, and with that pride will come you know giving the respect to the instructors and, and to your fellow classmates um, so I really want to stress that and hope that you will do that um, and that's it for me guys super short one today um, be sure to check us out uh, as always at www.refcoach.ca um, and if you haven't uh, subscribed to the podcast please do so um, that helps us out and gets the algorithm so going so we can get that out to, to more people uh, all over the world and, uh, and, and start helping them as officials as well if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you give it a like, and uh, that will also help us out. Um, you can also catch us at, at Instagram at Ref Coach Canada, and uh, also on Facebook at Ref Coach Calmar, C A L M A R as well. Um, and uh, until next time, guys, stay safe, and uh, we'll see you uh, in the next episode.